Hi, I'm Cody. One of the more intimidating aspects of model railroading for many people is scenery. But there's some products available today that make it really easy to do neat scenery contours like this. Woodland Scenics offers this product, this plaster cloth. If you've ever had a cast, you'll find this material very similar. And you can use that to make really neat undulations in the scenery. So let me show you how that's done. Now before we put the plaster cloth on, we need to have something to fill in this embankment here. And for that, I'm going to use some bubble wrap. So we'll go ahead and we'll wad up the bubble wrap. This is just a temporary backing, so once the plaster is dry, we can pull it out from underneath the uh, section of layout here. Now in places where you have bracing underneath the layout, you want to use a hobby knife just to let some of the air out here. And this gets rid of that egg shape we have going on that doesn't look very realistic. Now to keep the bubble wrap in place before we put the plaster gauze on, we're just going to put some strips of masking tape about every six inches or so. With the tape in place to contain the bubble wrap, we'll go ahead and add the plaster gauze. Now I've gone ahead and cut the strips into usable sizes in advance of this project. And then we have a tray here with some water in it. Then all we do is we just dip the plaster gauze into the water and we'll just apply it along the way. You want a minimum of two plaster gauze strips just to make sure you have a nice uh, rigid base to put your scenery on. I'm just going to line it up. We'll use the uh, roadbed edge here. And we'll put our first layer on. You don't need to soak the gauze strips in the water, you just need them to be wet. And now this piece here, I'm going to make sure it doesn't drape over our bench work, otherwise that's going to make it difficult to attach the fascia later on. And you can see how the bubble wrap is supporting the gauze nicely. And another thing too, as you can see, this piece is a little bit long, but that's okay. We'll just fold it back over itself and we'll press it down. Now when working with any scenery project, but especially one with uh, messy plaster like this, you want to make sure that your track and any scenery that's finished is covered. Okay, so we're just going to blend in this last piece here. Um, it'll be set up in about 15 minutes, and then it takes about 24 hours for it to dry thoroughly. And the easiest way to tell if it's dried completely is to run your hand over it. If there are any cool, damp spots, then you know it needs more time to dry. Once the plaster gauze strips have hardened, you can pull out the bubble wrap and use that on other parts of the model railroad. And once everything's dry, you can also come in and smooth out areas. You may want to fill in areas so you don't have any hard edges or anything. And for that, you can either use more of the plaster strip or a paper mache product called Sculpt and Mold. Scenery isn't as difficult as you may think. And with these plaster gauze strips, it's really easy to add rolling hills to your model railroad.